Jesus was returned to the governor, Pontius Pilate, who boasted that he alone had the power to crucify or release Jesus. But the Lord answered, Thou couldst have no power at all against me, except it were given thee from above. Jesus had said earlier, I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me, but I lay it down of myself. From then on, Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews called out, saying, If you let this man go, thou art not Caesar's friend. Whosoever maketh himself a king speaketh against Caesar. Satan whipped up the emotions of the crowd into total hate for Jesus. Satan believed he was in complete control. He was not. Unknowingly, Satan was a puppet playing into God's hands. He was completely oblivious that his actions were fulfilling Bible prophecy. For the last time, Pilate said, Behold your king. But the chief priest said, We have no king but Caesar. The mob kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! So when Pilate saw that he had lost control of the situation, he took water and washed his hands before the crowd, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this just person. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. God took them at their words. They have suffered ever since. Then Pilate delivered Jesus to be crucified. And they took him away. His flesh is hanging in ribbons and he is ordered to carry a cross weighing over 100 pounds, 650 yards, to the place of execution, Golgotha. The rough wood gouged into his torn back. By now, he was already dehydrated. The miracle was that he was still living. Another prophecy came to pass. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Another prophecy came to pass. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheek to them that plucked off the hair. I hid not my face from shame and spitting. God left heaven in love and mercy to bear the insults, lies, and hatred of his creation and to die for their sins. The angels watched in horror. By now, his face was a mass of torn tissue. The thorns, which had caused such massive swelling and painful infection, were almost covered with swollen flesh that he no longer looked like a man. Hundreds of years before this even took place, the psalmist prophesied these words about the Lord Jesus. For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. They pierced my hands and my feet. Jesus himself said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, 
will draw all men unto me. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And with him they crucify two thieves, the one on his right hand and the other on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, And he was numbered with the transgressors.